everyone, Dust Sheep Cure here, and welcome back to Pokemon Glazed. I believe this is part 10, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, today, we're going to take on Team Fusion. And if you guys can tell, I finally got my mic fixed. I figured out that I had it set up wrong before, but now it's set up correctly, so we're all good to go. Here we go. I did get a shiny Magikarp bought from this guy over here. This guy. Hey, no refunds. You bought it, you keep it. And I did get myself a matchy carp. Shiny one that I'm not gonna use at all. The Team Fusion is at the. Is at the ruins. Spatial ruins. I don't think I ever took this guy on. No, I didn't. I'm gonna take him on real quick and then we'll head to the Spatial Ruins. Alright, so here we are at Spatial Ruins. We're gonna take on these Team Fusion grunts, then we'll head inside. Oh, I, I forgot that my water has spore. My, um, imagine a Swampert with Spore. Imagine someone wearing that competitive Spore Swampert. Uh, now we got these two guys here. Can you beat the two of us? Um, yes, I can. Well, fun fact, guys. Do you remember way back Pokemon Glades Part 2? I said I had went on vacation for the 4th of July and I was gone for four days. I have just gotten back from, uh, from a pretty long vacation. I was gone for four days. Well... Where I went on vacation then is actually where I'm living now. <laughs> yeah. Crazy thought, huh? Where I'm living now is where I went on vacation a year ago. That's that's pretty that's a pretty cool fun fact for you guys. And we are destroying these people with just with just Loxus and Killer. Did I actually call him Thor earlier? I hope I didn't. Oh everyone's getting paralyzed today. Everyone except Killer and Houdini are in their level fifties. It's pretty overpowered, which is, that's, that's probably why I don't- I hardly use them anymore, to be honest. Because they're high leveled. If I use them anymore, they'll just be ridiculous. I would have to destroy the League. Imagine just me destroying the Pokemon League, like, it's being hyped up so much that I just destroy it. <laughs> that would be very anticlimactic, to be honest. I actually want to struggle in that. Just like I want to struggle in Pokemon Sun and Moon, which is why I'm going to raise so many Pokemon. Oh, I actually did record this before. But I had to move recording spaces, so I just decided uh, to stop the recording, redo it. And I ran into like level 10 rolls before, but this time around I'm running into level 21 rolls apparently. That's different. And the way this place is, it's like very windy. When you go, like like if you go far off to the left, the map will like overlap itself. And the same if you go far off to the right or up or down. So. It's just very confusing. And Houdini is learning Aerial Ace. And same base power as we can attack, but never misses, so I think it's pretty obvious what we want to do there. And now they're about to send in Embor. Let's stay in. Oh, why not? Dragon Call. That doesn't one shot, but it's pretty good. Now finish him up. Oh, really? Really now? You missed the cut. Oh, you missed it again! Oh, he missed he missed takedown at least. That was crazy, we missed cut twice in a row. I mean, I get that it doesn't have 100% accuracy, but jeez, man. Jeez. Halt. Why, why do you only say halt? That's just weird. And now that I have my mic working again, I, I want to be more active in my recordings again. I say again because I was back in the past for that more for videos. I mean, I get that I have over 100 videos at this point, but only, only a small portion, only like a portion of them are Let's Plays. Even though that's my main focus is 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 playthroughs, that isn't all I do. I do a bunch of other stuff too. I'm not gonna like just, just like talk about everything I do. That'll just make me sound selfish or braggy or whatever. But yeah, all I'm saying is that I don't only do gameplays. In fact, often gameplays are my lesser viewed videos at this point in time. I really could use a hyper potion. Don't I have a moo moo milk? I have a moo moo milk, don't I? He's gonna kill me, so I kind of want that moo moo milk. There we go, moo moo milk. Fill up, there we go. No, oh, no. That's, I got my speed lowered by a slow Pokemon. Oh, it's actually affecting me. I think my speed is as low as it can go now. That's not good. Is that a dragon dance? I was gonna take down again. Instead of one Dragon Dance, I could survive another takedown unless he gets a crit. And I could finish him off. 
Oh, he tried to use Rock Blast and he missed. That's good. Yeah, that's what these that's what these Rhyperiors in Pokemon Go always like to do. They like to lower your speed so that you're slower than them. Then they get a faster Rock Blast and just just wreck you. That's what they plan to do often in this game. But you know, with raw power, you can get past that. And Pokemon that can't get their stats lowered, that is kind of pointless. And I'm pretty sure the only Pokemon with clear body in this game are like Metagross and Tentacruel, which have the advantage against Rhyperior. So yeah, really, those are the perfect counters to that strategy. It's just spam spamming cuts a bad idea, to be honest. Cut. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Oh. I thought he was gonna kill me there, but if you would use revenge, you would have killed me there, probably. I think it does double damage when the Pokemon's been hit that turn. So it's good for slower Pokemon. Yeah, if you use revenge there, it probably would have killed me. But you know, sometimes in ROM hacks the AI is pretty bad. But then again, ROM hacks aren't perfect. They're not made by official people. They're made by just fans that want to make their own Pokemon game or whatever. So they're obviously not gonna be perfect, but they're still very fun to play. I like Pokemon Light Platinum, and that game is far from perfect, but it's still fun to play. And that's why I still play it. And the only reason why I do play stuff on my channel is because I like doing it. That's that's the, re that's the whole reason why I started YouTube, is for fun. And the fact that I've gotten over 140 subscribers, it might not seem like that much to some, but that is just crazy. I never thought I'd end up getting that many subscribers on YouTube. I mean, I'm still a small YouTuber, but I thought I'd say an incredibly small YouTuber. You know, like with like 50 subscribers or something. But I didn't end up growing more as I went on. And and right now my subscriber count is at a hold like it often is. But, you know, I still like doing YouTube. Even, even if I never gain subscribers again, I'm gonna keep doing this because it's fun. And you know, my videos get a few views, so some people watch it. And as long as I get to have fun and entertain you and entertain you guys at the same time, that's 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 all I care about on YouTube. It's to have fun and to just entertain at least someone out there. No more Mr. Nice Pikachu. I'm going all out on you. I've trained myself to a high level, which means you don't stand a chance. Now, he thinks he can beat me, but he's just a level 45 Pikachu. And he's trying to be a Rayquaza. I don't know why he hates us so bad anyway. All we did was stop him from attacking our parents. And he's just really... Really mad about it. Oh! I'm using light screen, I see. Dragon Claw. It's gonna one-shot. Watch this, it's gonna one-shot. Pikachu's like one of the most pathetic Pokemon. When it comes to how he battles. I don't know why... I don't know why people will like it competitively. I can see why they like it casually. It's pretty, it's a pretty cute Pokemon, but you know, the fact that people think it's good competitive is just stupid. If you're gonna use the Pika Pokemon competitive, either use that that champion's Pachirisu or use a Raichu. They're really the only good Pika Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Pikachu gets the light ball, but you know. Anyway, I'm ranting here. Let's actually continue the game. I still don't have enough strength. I joined Team Fusion to gain the strength to beat you to a pulp, and it hasn't worked. I'm done with this. I won't be going after you anymore. Okay, good. He's not gonna go after us to steal our badges anymore. I... I need to think. Don't follow me. And the reason why I did just stop my, uh, my old recording altogether was because my dogs were working in the recording, so I uh, might as well start it over when I move spaces. Because, you know, I have, I have moved recording spaces before, and just continue the recording as it was, like back in today's part 2 again. I keep mentioning the video because I really like that video. I'm pretty proud of it, and it's over a year old now. To believe that it's that old. To believe that I've been doing YouTube for over a year is just insane to think about. Anyway, this is about the point where it rolls. This is about the point where I had to stop the recording. Yeah, this part is all new for me. You tried nobly, but you're too late. My lab has already prepared the electric beams to summon Dialga. Palkia, and Giratina. So he's summoning the creation trio. There's nothing you can do. So step back and watch history take place. And here's gonna summon the legendaries. And this is exactly the point where I stopped when Giratina popped up. Here we are. Roar, Giratina. D 
Dialga. Roar! So Giratina, Dialga. And here's where Palkia's gonna well, come forward, Palkia. Roar space. And here's Palkia. What what human dares to disturb my duties? It is I. Your new trainer. Master Ball, go! Oh, using the Master Ball. Cheater! I did it at last. Who knew he had a Master Ball? This is just the preview. The finale begins now, at the Fusion Lab at the top of Mount Stratus. No point going there. We've already won. Team Fusion. Time to move out! Apparently they've already won. Oh. Huh? My cell phone is ringing. Curtis? I... They couldn't save Giratina. Regina managed to catch it shortly before I arrived. Henry and I are meeting in, in Palm Tree Resort to review our options. Please hurry! Uh, so Regina beat them to it, so they couldn't save Giratina, I believe, that was there. Yeah, they couldn't save Giratina. And who was there for Dialga? Who, ca who captured Dialga? Anyway, all we can do is hop down here, and we can make it. Oh, no, we can't make it. Oh, now, now level 29 rolls. These guys were level 10 in my original recording. Why are they suddenly a lot higher leveled now? They trace intimidate, but it didn't take effect. Well, and I believe that Fracture evolves level 48, so we're pretty close to a level up, to an uh, evolution level. We're close to a level up, obviously, but we're close to an evolution as well. And we might as well take out the Zebra. It gives a decent experience, I believe. Yeah, kind of. 130, 135. That place is a little more confusing than I thought it would be, but we got through it. And we gotta go back to Palm Tree Resort, and we'll climb Mount Stratus, where that one grunt was walking up before. They're all up there now, so there's no guys blocking anything now. Yeah, and to prove to you guys that I did actually get a shiny magic card from that guy, here it is, golden magic card. And I don't know why any of you would think I cheated when, first of all, it's level one, second of all, I'm not using it. Why would I cheat for a Pokemon I'm not even going to use? That is just ridiculous. Here we are. The gym isn't blocked, but the gym leader's probably not there. Oh, they are. Oh, hey! Don't mind the mess. Nicole trains rock types. He's using flying types would be a bad idea. Yeah, it would. I want to evolve Killer before I take them on, though. So he, can get, so he has access to Earthquake. All the men in orange left, and nobody got hurt. Thank goodness! Oh, an evil team that didn't hurt anyone? That's a, that's a rarity. I left in Goldenrod City. It's where I took over the city. I moved to Palm Tree Resort, and some of the bunch of thugs took over the city. <laughs> wow, that guy, that guy's luck, right? I'm the head scientist of Fusion Coast TM department. We're very close to making a new TM. Oh wow, that's nice. If you make it, tell me, cause I want to teach my Pokemon that move. Look at my kid. Nobody gonna harm my trainer while I'm around. I'll get them. Yes, I will. No one messes with Mudkip. <laughs> with Mudkip J. River Crosser. Daddy says I can play outside, but I have to take Mudkip for protection in case those mean guys in orange come back. They won't come back. They're after the legendary Pokemon. Yeah, I guess we're gonna go in here. I would say next time, but I don't think we've been reporting for that long. Don't feel bad, Curtis. You've been a great help to us. Why don't you go and get your seven badge while you're playing? Oh. <laughs> so we do have to take on the gym before we do that. I kind of want to grind up real quick, though. Ooh, I brave that. I remember the second gym leader had one of those, so this is how you get it. Yeah, we are gonna take out some more Pokemon, two level up killer, and these guys are level 30. That's, it's a pretty decent, decent experience. No hit knives. I wonder if that guy's a trainer. I hope he is. Another way, Brave. I wonder if that's all you can find here. I doubt it. I doubt there would only be one Pokemon in an area. Here we go. You. Nicole pulverized me, so I decided to train some more. Oh, he's grinding up too! Okay, I'm just grinding up so I can use Killer in the battle. Because when he evolves into Haxorus, he's able to learn Earthquake. And wow, I wonder if I brave us so far. Let's just grind up real quick, I'll meet you guys back when I'm level 48. Oh, finally found a Pokemon that's not Vibrava, a Scrafty. An Eevee! That, not that it matters, we have like a billion of those. Look, I have like a box full of them, literally. And I have like... Every single evolution except Leafeon and Umbreon and Espeon. And a Chansey. That's gonna give a lot of experience. And Beedrill. So that's not just Vibrava here. We found Vibrava, Scrafty, Eevee, Chansey, and now Beedrill. 
You don't have to grind it up extremely high like I did. But you can find some members to your team here. I found a Butterfree, Beedrill, Scrafty, Eevee, which you can get those for free. So you could get that way earlier on. I also found like a Chansey and Vibrava, so you could get a Flygon here. You could get a Flygon. And Flygon's pretty good. Yeah, there's, a, there's a lot of Pokemon. And they're giving way more experience than the Vibrava episode. It's a lot of Foil Ball Pokemon too. I think there's one more Pokemon to take out, and we'll be at level 48. And I believe that Fracture evolves at level 48. I'm pretty sure Axe you all at level 30, didn't it? But here we go. Yes! I'm trying to learn Swords Dance. Dragon Dance is better, though. And, yep, I was right! Killer evolves! Here it is, Haxorus. Now Haxorus is on our team. He's gonna be a very reliable member. And like I said, I'm, he can learn Earthquake. And I was right, Killer can learn Earthquake. So I'll take away Toxic for that. And there we go. Killer has learned Earthquake. So here is our, here is our, one of, probably one of our 145 base attack. That destroys Raichu, doesn't destroy Arcanine. That's because he's higher level. And yeah, the only reason why he has a lower attack in the right now is because he's lower leveled. I'm pretty sure that once he's higher leveled, he's gonna have way higher attack than these other members. Like, he's on par with Watsura, and he's level 55. But yeah, Haxorus is definitely gonna be a powerful member of the team. And the physical special play is in this game, so. Stab powerful Dragon Claw. Haxorus is gonna be an amazing member to our team. And I just saw the country rendering. Yeah, now we got Haxorus on our team. And Haxorus is really strong. He has like a ridiculous base attack stat. So yeah, na now that we have Earthquake, we're going to We're going to take on this gym with Haxorus, which is actually named nickname killer. Yeah, these guys are rock types, like Mr. Claude said. So, we're going to use Earthquake. Another trainer here. Oi, you're stepping into, into on a perfect specimen, of course. That was that was weird to say. Well, I didn't see course there. Oh, you don't even use rock types, you're using just a fire type. You know Hope One is good when they have a modest nature and their attack is still incredibly high. Or if they have an adamant nature and their special attack is still incredibly high. You're standing on the same ground walked down by Cranidos and Rimpardos thousands of years ago. How do these guys know this? Like, how did the other guy know I was standing on quartz when it looked like a regular rock? And how does this guy know that a po that false Pokemon stood there years ago when it's just a regular rock? How do they know this crud? Here we are. Another trainer. Hopefully he's the last trainer before the gym leader. I didn't come here for the science. I came here to crush potential challengers. I have a Pokemon named Crush. Speaking of Crush, Finding Dory recently came out. I haven't watched it yet. But I want to watch it. Because I've always liked Finding Nemo ever since I was a kid. And and that is what inspired the name of my church wig when I first started this series. So, if you're not a fan of the, of the movie, when I name a Pokemon after a character from it. And Pupitar, what's going to be after it? Tyranitar? A low-level Tyranitar? Or it's not the Pupitar. He's level 41. Oh, yep. Like, like my second guess was, just another people tar. Like they build up the evolution line, then just do a second of the mid evolution. That's kind of weird. And one more trainer before the gym leader. Touche. Now your your layer on stands no chance against my Haxorus. That's just a shortcut back, I believe. Tee, a challenger. I hope you're. I hope you forget the mess. I really like rocks. I'm a geologist after all. But you want a battle, right? <laughs> they spelled once like like Wolf with an A. <laughs> That's weird. Well, let's go, Tee. She says Tee a lot. Well, we will beat her, Tee. Later, Nicole would like to battle. She has a shovel. Oh, I said earlier that there'll be a Tyranitar, and here's the Tyranitar. 
Look, we got Tyranitar against Taxorus. This will be an epic battle. That will probably finish off the Tyranitar in one hit. Tyranitar does have pretty high defense, though, so he could tank this. After all, Earthquake isn't stabbed. Yeah, he did tank it. <laughs> and what's he gonna... Oh, Rock Tomb. Uh, I don't know if I'm pretty sure they'll use the potion, but the leftovers made sure they wouldn't. So I just finished him off with Dragon Claw. Even though my speed's lowered, these are rock types, so they're not gonna be faster. And another Aggron. Again, another epic battle. Not really, though, because Aggron's gonna get one shot by Earthquake. After all, it is four times weak to ground, unfortunately. But then again, when it Mega Evolves, it solves that problem pretty easily. First of all, it becomes pure steel, so it's not four times weak to rock to ground on me. And then, it gets the ability filter, which decreases the power of super effective moves against it. So, it can just tank those rock type, those ground type moves when it evolves. Why can't I talk today? So, yeah, Mega Evolve your Aggron, and Nick can tank those ground type moves instead of otherwise being destroyed by them. Speaking of Mega Aggron, it's funny how when Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire first teased, some people thought that Steven would carry a Mega Aggron. When I think it would have been pretty obvious it'd be a Mega Metagross. Let's take this opportunity to Dragon Dance. After all, he did Hyper Potion. She Hyper Potioned. I think all her Pokemon have been female so far as well. So she's a female, her Pokemon are female, and I keep saying he. I'm used to it, gosh dang it. 68, we're gonna win! We're gonna win because I'm on 68 HP. Get wrecked! Oh, he's got Earthquake of She's got an Earthquake of her own. See, I keep saying he, I'm used to it. Ooh, don't finish me off, Sandstorm. Don't finish me off. Don't finish me off. Ooh, that was close. I don't have nothing to heal with. Oh, wait. We used our Moon Milk. We're gonna have to finish them off here. So, Cactus is actually gonna die. Probably do have revive, so we can easily heal back up. Unless we get enough HP increase to not die from the sandstorm once we level up. That would just be pure luck though. And it only increased by two. Oh wait, we could we can survive. Because Shuckle is just dangerous. I don't know why I went into Houdini against the Shuckle. Houdini's just gonna be just, just gonna be a shield, I guess. While we heal up Killer for her last Pokemon. She's probably gonna be her ace, unless it was one of the Pokemon I took out, because they never always send out their ace unless they're like in later unless in later generations it's a mega Pokemon. Oh jeez. Okay, at least we get to finish healing Killer. The Houdini's gonna die, but we'll get in as much damage as possible. Endeavor! Yes! Hopefully they won't use another potion. Please don't use another potion. Oh good, you have leftovers, so you won't. Yes! That, that's what I planned all along. To get to low HP, then use Endeavor. And then just destroy them once hackers came out. Pretty good plan. Why does Cardelli's sprite look different? For some reason it looks different in this game. Oh, we got one more Earthquake. Let's use it. Even though it'll be neutral. Why do you have Cardelli and not an Armaldo, though? You could have a full team of six and have that Armaldo included. Oh, wow, that only did half damage? They're probably gonna have leftovers, too? No, no, no. Oh, we're confused. If we hurt ourselves, we're gonna do tons of damage to ourselves. Not really. Ingrain, too. Okay, I don't know if Killer stands a chance against Cradilly. Just because we're confused. And he's got Ingrain. Yeah, we're gonna... If we hit ourselves again, we're gonna die. I wanna switch out. Let's do that. So, once he... If he does some serious damage with that ancient power, then we'll just heal up with the citrus berry. Good as new. We got that ingrain though. You know what? Overheat. BAM! Get wrecked. There we go. Roshan finish it off. I'm right that we that we destroyed a rock type gym. That we beat a rock type gym with an Arcanine. Same with the water type gym. Tiki, you beat me. Dare I say, you rock! Here you can have my badge, no problem. And the rock puns. Inevitable, really. The core badge. Finally, a unique badge name. Super awesome badge that lets you use Dive outside of battle. Also, there's a special attack, a special defense of Pokemon. Teehee, here, take this too. See, she does say Teehee a lot. TM39 is Rock Tomb, right? Yep, Rock Tomb. 
It's like a double whammy. <laughs> oh wow, that's your seventh badge. That means you're going to Battle Tyson next, right? He trains in Darkwood Town. Well, the only way to get there is by diving in all the grottos that crisscross the town. Take care, okay? Teehee! <laughs> Not many people know that the ground beneath them contains all the Earth's history. As time goes on, things get buried, and new things appear on top. So the further you dig, the further in the past you go. Teehee! <laughs> Sorry to geek out there for a second. Rocks are awesome, aren't they? Oh, it's like a tunnel back to the beginning. Yep. Oh wow, that just appeared out of nowhere. Well, you beat the coal. You've only got one more badge to get. Yep, then the then the two not league is in our grasp. So we're probably gonna get dive after dealing with Team Fusion. You know, typically in games, the main event for the evil team does take place after the seventh badge, and then you finish them off, get the eighth badge, take on the league. That's normally how it goes. But there are other regions of this game, so after the league is done, we're still not done with the game. Because like Leaf Green, we are doing the game after the po after the game post game. But yeah, that is that is going to be it for today, unfortunately. But we will continue this next time and take on Team Fusion. We ha I have been recording for a while, actually. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Happy hunting!